Hi Cutie Pies, it's Mrs. Newberry here in the library and I just wanted to pop into your classroom and talk to you really quickly about your star score results. So congratulations for finishing that test. I know some of you have taken that four years in a row, so good job. We do know that the better reader you are, the easier things are going to be for you, such as careers and school and all the things that you wanna do later in your life. We know that reading is gonna make those things easier and it's gonna help you be more successful. We also know, studies show, that if you're a reader, you can actually extend your life up to 24 months. So if for no other reason than just wanting to live longer, reading is going to be a betterment for your life. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about, no matter where you ended up on your score, is just own your score. And by that I mean, if you tested really high, that's great, good for you. But if you tested somewhere lower and you're looking at that score thinking, wow, I need to improve that score so that I can be more successful in high school and more successful after high school, own your score. It is what it is and every score can be improved. So just go into it with that mindset of it is what it is and I'm gonna improve it. The next piece of advice is grow your score. So how do you go about doing that? Just like anybody who's working out or trying to become a better athlete, reading is very much the same. If you wanna be better at it, you just have to practice at it. And so I'm gonna to talk to you in a second about what your ZPD range is, your zone of proximal development. And that's really where we want you reading if you're trying to grow your score. And then hopefully you, you move up past that and we get you into bigger and bigger books. That's really the goal. We know that 10 minutes a day can vastly improve your reading score. So if your score is lower than you wanted it to be, take heart because with a little practice, we're gonna pull that up and hopefully by the end of the year, you'll be exactly where you wanna be. So now let's watch how to read that report. So what I want you to notice is you're gonna have this bar graph right here, and this bar graph is gonna have an indicator line. Yours will probably unfortunately not be in color, but you'll be able to see the different shadings between yellow, red, blue, and green. If you're in the red zone, that's something that we would consider to be critical. If you're in the yellow, we also consider that to be pretty much imperative that we start working on your reading. We really wanna see you in the blue, but more preferably in this higher area over here because that indicates that you're reading at your grade level. What you're gonna see is you'll have these little terms, SS, PR, GE, and IRL. I've circled each one of these and down at the bottom of your report, you should have exactly what each one of these things are. So it'll tell you purple circle, yellow, blue, and red. So the very first one that I want you to notice is the yellow one, which is right here. And that is, that this stands for your grade equivalent. So if you're testing at a 4.0, that means you're testing at the fourth grade reading level, which is obviously critical to us. Um, the next one on here that is also really important is this uh, SS scale, this 449. So we will have a lot of kids who will top out in this grade level area right here at a 12.9 plus. If you're one of those kids, you wanna look over here at your SS numbers because the SS numbers give you a more approximate idea of how close you are to maxing out. So this is where you're gonna see growth if you're really high in your grade level. So I want you to watch that number. It goes as high as um, past 1300. I think it actually goes to 1400. This means the IRL, which is your blue circle, stands for um, what, you can, what you can handle instruction at. So when your teachers are teaching you and handing out materials, this kiddo needs materials that are really set at the third grade reading level. So the last really important and critical one is this number down here, it's called ZPD. So it's the zone of proximal development. We used to call it the zone of proximal growth. If you are indeed at this level for your grade, then we want you reading AR books that are between a 3.0, so a third grade reading level, and 4.5, which is fourth grade, fifth month. So you'll notice that whenever you check out a book, we always have these little spots down here that have the AR determination of like what grade level it is and how many points it is. We've also now put them on the side of the spines. So when you come in and you're able to view books, you'll see it right on the side of the spine as well. This will tell you right down here, this particular book is a 4.6. So that's fourth grade, six month, and it's 13 points. So if you're right here in this zone, this may or may not be one that you wanna check out. Preferably, it says you shouldn't, but you're, you're real close to that top zone, so you might be able to. 
Here's why this matters. If your reading level is particularly low, you want to be able to grow that reading level. If you're reading books that are super high and in a, a higher reading level, you're gonna have a harder time decoding those and understanding what they're saying. So we always tell people to start in this ZPD area and get a couple of those books underneath your, underneath your belt and then we'll grow and see what, what we can push past that. Maybe we put you into a 4.7 or a 5.0, but again, it's all about just building on those layers of, of reading and education. So this is basically how you look at this report. There are some interesting things down here. This is scaled out of 100 on different um, uh, domains and literature, informational text, and language. So clearly, the higher you are to 100, the better it is. OK, so hopefully you understand. If you have any other questions, I'm going to encourage you to talk to your teacher or come down and talk to me because you know that like my life is books. And I love to talk to kids about books. And my whole goal down here is to find you something that you like and find you something that is going to help you grow as a reader. So don't hesitate to pop down here and let's get you something that is going to help you grow as a reader. Bye, Huskies.